being a good neighbor isn't always easy. Especially when you live next door to this. I'm Amy Devers. I'm Alan Luxmore. Give us a weekend and we'll turn any eyesore into the envy of the neighborhood. Whoa, whoa, not yet, not ready. This is Fix This Yard. We're knocking on your door next. Janae Justice bought her first home in a great neighborhood a little over a year ago. Not long after, her friend Shannon moved in, and these two roomies concentrated all of their energy on redoing the interior. The problem is, before they moved in, the house sat deserted for a year, and now it still looks deserted, and the neighbors are pretty much over it. Well, we spent quite a bit of time actually picking on your yard. Yeah. <laughs> But let's talk about what you guys would like to see. The exterior is more of a ranch style, but we're hoping maybe we could bring that contemporary feel and help it blend with the neighborhood. I think okay. it definitely needs some color. Well, you obviously have a very clear vision of what you're going for. Yes. And I can see by your address numbers exactly the kind of style that you're talking about. Exactly. So what we'll do for you is something clean and very linear, mm -hmm. but then we'll soften it up with some color and plant life sprinkled throughout. Sound like a good plan? Yes, definitely. So your house is really clean. It's almost too clean. It looks unfinished. Yeah, I had the whole house restuccoed, but then okay. I basically just stopped from there because I haven't really known what to do moving forward. What if we do like a stack stone? I love yeah, stack good. stone. Yeah. Like just very modern. Just right up and to the deluxe. bottom. Deluxe. Yeah. yeah. I think that's a that great idea. Good. The first task at hand is to get rid of all the concrete, weeds, and grass, and remove the old wooden posts on the porch area. Next, we'll spruce up the house with stacked stoned accents along the bottom, add fewer but more contemporary posts, and build new shutters. We'll continue the stacked stone onto the garage and finish it off with a new coat of paint. A new concrete driveway with a wider approach will create easy access to the garage. Mexican pebbles will line the driveway and accent new concrete pathways. Fresh sod and mulched flower beds will blanket the yard and finally, we'll paint the eyesore of a fence to match the rest of our design plan. Like we needed any more pressure, the truck with the stacked stone just arrived. Luckily, the crew already reinforced the front of the house so the stone has something to stick to. Janae and I are gonna have to break away from the asphalt disaster to put up the stone. I just wanna get some stone up on the house. Hi. I see you already met Brent, our Eldorado stone guy. Yes, I did. Well, it's a good thing you're here, Brent, because we've got a lot of stone and not a lot of time. Well, I'm happy to be here. One of the things you'll find about Eldorado is because we've designed these uh, unique panels with these kind of individual ledge stones, it's going to go up really quick. Of all the stone products they had at the Home Depot, I thought this was the one for your house. I love it. You just put a little bit of mortar on here. You want to get about a half inch of mortar along the whole back. Kind of what you do is you want to smear it on there and kind of just level it off. Now that we've actually started putting the stone up on the wall, it looks so amazing. It adds such dimension. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to see it complete. Could you believe this is a goat ranch? It used to be your yard about two or no. three days ago? No. <laughs> Seriously, if, if I didn't participate in it, I wouldn't even believe you that it could be done. Do you think your friends will even recognize your house? No. Well, now instead of saying, look for the big ugly fence, now let's say, look for the beautiful house, they'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And how about the stone? Oh my god, stone. the stone. I, Such a good idea. I yeah. love, love, love the stone. Yeah. Who would have known that three feet of stone could make such a difference? 